So I have a view of my iPhone that I can share with you. So this is the iPhone and you can see its screen is just shared right there live. And I have a, a run of data here. We still have that same um, hamburger menu, main menu in the upper left. And if I hit it and choose save, one difference here is that although it's changing on mobile devices, they typically have you save within the app. And that's the example here. So it's still going to be saved as a sparklab.spklab file, but it's going to be saved within the app in a place that it calls saved work. So I could call this uh, my data. Okay. But by default, it is inside the app, right? saving in the, the traditional way. So if I save it, I now have it in saved work. If I were to start a new experiment and go to open saved experiment, hey, it points me right to that saved work folder within the app, and I can open up my my data sparklab file. So that's saving and opening on traditional platforms versus mobile platforms. If we have this little dilemma here in that Spark View on the phone likes to save within the app, uh, what is our solution? Well, it turns out on mobile, like Android and tablets uh, and, and iPhones and iPads, um, we have a special button that is only on these devices. And let me show you where this is. This button is the sharing button shown here. And if you hit that sharing button, you're going to get a number of options that are unique to mobile devices way of approaching things. They don't primarily want to direct you to the file system. They want you to decide, I want to share from app A to app B, for example. So let me head back to my iPhone to illustrate the opportunities here in the sharing menu on mobile devices. All right. So back in SparkView on my iPhone, we see that sharing menu in the upper right, kind of the ball and stick molecular model. And it gives me three options if I have a file with data in it. The first is to share the Spark Lab. So what is this going to share? Well, it is going to, sorry, I hit the wrong one, share Spark Lab, first option there. If I hit share Spark Lab, it is going to take that SPK Lab file that I could have saved internally. And it's going to say, okay, I'm going to create that file for you. And I'm going to give you some opportunities to share it. And this is going to be dependent on what apps you have on your phone, but these include sending it by email, sending it via message, uh, sending it to my computer, copying it so I could paste it somewhere else, saving it to the internal files, Dropbox, Google Drive. So a lot of options here dependent on what apps you have. So it's likely the case if you have your students using mobile devices, um, whether it's iPads, which many of you have, you probably have a workflow already. So it might be Google Drive specific. You could save that SPK lab to Google Drive, and then you could open it up on the mobile, another mobile device, or most importantly, any device that has Spark View on it. All right, so that's the first option in the sharing menu. We are now discovering that mobile has this sharing button. We've looked at sharing the Spark Lab itself. Um, basically, these other things are going to take a similar path. They are going to give you the opportunity to use the built-in sharing screens and features for, to go from app to app on your mobile device. I'm going to jump down to the third option here, share data. That is going to take the data that's in the file. And just like we saw exporting data uh, to a file system on a desktop computer, we can export the data and then share it via these same tools. So if I mailed it to myself or my lab partners, I'd end up getting something like a CSV file, I believe is the default, which I could then open in Excel on my computer. Um, same type of thing. So the only thing we're getting different here from choosing the sharing menu is it's automatically choosing the operating system sharing options instead of saving it internal to the app. All right, final option here is not something we've talked about. It's called share current page. I personally think this is poorly worded. Um, let's see what happens. I'm going to choose share current page. It is very useful despite the wording. If you notice here, there are options like save image. What this does is it basically takes uh, in one action hitting the button, it takes a screenshot of the screen that you're on. I'll hit done here so we can see this screen is a graph that shows my data. If I wanted to share this or put it in a lab report, I would hit that sharing button to share current page. And now I could send this image, just an image of the page, not the data itself. It's not manipulatable. It's just an image, but that can be useful for reports. And I could copy it into a document. I could save it to my camera roll on this device. Uh, and I could do all those sorts of sharing things with this image. That's particularly useful, I think. All right. So those three options in the sharing menu on mobile devices.